Hi guys! <laughs> so I have my April favorites for you all today. Mm -hmm. And, well, actually, it's a hit and misses video because I have all my favorites and I have one really large miss. And so I have a bunch of stuff, so I'm going to get right into it. The first thing that I have been loving is this, which is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This has been my favorite concealer, and it's literally the only one I've been using. I have a full review of this on my blog and my new review channel, so if you would like to see a full review on this, you can go and either click down below on my blog or I'm going to link you to my review channel. And so you will see why this is my absolute favorite thing ever. So, yeah. The next thing that I've been loving is this, and this is the Hourglass uh, number 28 treatment lip oil and it has this really nice um, dispenser here again I have another review of this on my new review channel so I'm not going to talk too much about this but it is amazing I've been wearing this every single day since I got it and my lips have been feeling so nice the next thing that I've been loving in general is white nail polish um, I used to love when I was in elementary school wearing white uh, white out on my nails and so this kind of brings me back into the old days but this has been the one I've been wearing like non-stop and this is the Deborah Lippman this is in Amazing Grace and it is the perfect opaque white polish and what I love about this is it's pretty chip resistant so it lasts on me for about a week and a half if I do my nails nicely if you need one that's a little bit more inexpensive I would definitely recommend the Sally Hansen Extreme Wear the next thing I have been loving is this. Isn't she so cute? This is the Etude House um, Missing You Hand Cream. And this is in Pink Dolphin Story. So this is in a, uh, what flavor? Like a rose scent. And I love this. Not only do I love the scent, but I love that it um, is so moisturizing on my hand, yet not greasy. It's really nice and really moisturizing. And I'm kind of like obsessed with the smell, so it makes me want to use it over and over again. The next makeup product that I have been loving is this. And this is the Le Matier de Beauté. Ooh, I probably butchered that. This is their anamorphic uh, mascara. This is in brownish black. And I have very very short Asian lashes that tend to fall flat like this um, and so I f used to think that I can only trust Asian mascaras because they're the only ones that are thin enough to hold my lashes up when I curl them um, but this has really changed my thoughts and minds on everything so this is what it looks like it looks like a very standard mascara brush uh, wand and what I like about this is this is a clear tube so you can see exactly the color that's in it uh, and the formula is really really nice it actually without me even curling my lashes it'll do a great job of curling my lashes um, and it really lengthens and volumizes my lashes and so I have been obsessed with this I have a full review and pictures of the before and after of what this looks like on my lashes and you definitely have to check it out because it's going to make you want it. The next thing that I've been loving is this and this is the Up and Up Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes. I have been using this for a very long time um, and it wasn't until recently that I realized how much I love them. Um, Felix and I haven't gotten to Target. This is the Target brand by the way. Uh, Felix and I haven't gotten to Target in a while, and so I've been going to the drugstore and getting drugstore ones um, like Neutrogena, Pons, all the other brands, and I realized just how much I love these. I got the big value pack of it, and what I love about this is it is really gentle on my face. It doesn't feel I don't feel any stinging whatsoever when I use it. Yet at the same time, it's so effective in cl cleansing my face, and so yeah, I just love this. I feel like it doesn't irritate my face and it just wipe and you're done and so love this. My last favorite is actually not a beauty product but a food and this is the Blue Diamond Almond and this is in the Smokehouse flavor and now I've been trying to eat healthy and you know be good about things and sometimes I just crave something salty like chips or the slab of meat or something and I just know that I shouldn't and I'm like, eh, with almonds, you know, I eat them because I know they're good for you and whatnot, but 
yeah, I would still just rather a big piece of meat. And so I really love this because when I eat them, they kind of taste like barbecue and they taste like meat, like a smoky piece of rib. And so that's why I love these. Every time I eat these, I'm like, mmm, this tastes good. And it really satisfies my that salty craving for me. Um, what I like to do sometimes I put some of these in a baggie and I put them with regular almonds and I kind of shake them together. These can be a little bit salty. Um, but flavor-wise, I've been obsessed with this. Right, Fal? You really like these too. Yeah. yeah. The last product is a huge miss for me and I'm really sad to say this because I really loved this product for a super long, long time. Um, I actually got this as a gift for my dad not too long ago, um, but it's a T3 hair dryer, and in my opinion, it's probably one of the strongest hair dryers there is, besides this one and the Hana one, or Hana, whatever it's pronounced, are the two of the strongest ones, and I feel like these help blow dry my hair so fast because I have very thick hair, um, but what ended up happening one day, I was about to use it, and Mind you, I've never dropped this before. Oh, this kind of matches. I've never dropped this before. I've never, you know, like thrown it against a wall. I didn't get mad at Felix and throw it at his face. Um, but one day when I turned it on to use it, it made the loudest. I was like, Mah! and I was like, oh my, I screamed so loudly. And then Felix came running in because I, he thought I got electrocuted. And so, um, yeah, you know what ended up happening? Can you hear that? There's like, it like shattered inside. I don't even want to open it to figure out what it is, but like, this is like a tambourine. There's stuff in there. And so, I mean, it still works, but it's got stuff all up in there now. I don't know what shattered inside. I don't know what happened to it, but it's broke. I was just really bummed out because this was a pretty good hair dryer, but I don't know. Isn't this like a hazard? It probably is. And so yeah, those were my April hits and misses, my favorites and not so favorites. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have new tutorials for you. Don't forget to subscribe to my new um, review channel and also my blog. And yeah, all the links are down below. Don't forget to check them out. And I will talk to you guys soon.